Hello my friends and welcome to Tittle Tattle Tarot. In this reading I would like to explore the two events that are coming up in December. Uh, first of all on the 4th of December, Sunday the 4th, we have the Earthshot Prize uh, being hosted by Catherine and William, the Prince and Princess of Wales. And then two days later on the 6th of December we have the Ripple of Hope Awards um, one of which is being uh, offered to Harry and Meghan. So I'd just like to look at these two events and see the general atmosphere, the general feeling around them. So I've already shuffled, but I'm going to shuffle a little bit more. Whoa, what flew out there? King Thomas. Oh. Okay, so let's just shuffle a little bit more. And we're going to look at the Prince and Princess of Wales, William and Kate's event, Earthshot. First of all, we're going to pull out three cards from the top. So three cards. And then we're going to look at Harry and Meghan. So I'm going to take it from there. So let's have three cards. Okay, so there are the three cards for Prince and Princess of Wales and their Earthshot event. There, I think it's got me in focus there. And then we'll have three cards for Harry and Meghan's event, where they'll be appearing at the Ripple of Hope Award in New York. In New York, two days later on the 6th of December. So just like the energy around this event, please. All the cards can be shown on the 6th of December. The energy around this one, please. We can go from the top. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, first of all, let's look at William and Catherine, their Earthshot Prize. Um, this is a very serious event. Um, it's very much about the earth and very much about the way that we live, um, the families, generations moving forward into a healthy world. So, you know, uh, family health, um, the villages, the cities, the towns, the sky, everything, you know, everything that's important in this world um, is covered in earth shot and the actual, the home, family, um, how society develops in the future. This is all dependent on how we look after our earth. And I very much see that um, as the kind of card that's, you know, us caring for our planet, the families caring, even got the, the rainbow overhead. Um, so yeah, very much um, a caring, loving card, loving our planet, loving our families, loving our lives. Um, and then the Knight of Swords, yes, you know, this is an urgent thing. Um, the planet needs to be protected urgently and um, the message needs to get across and it needs to get across very directly. Um, so a lot goes into this and um, people work very, very hard and um, the message gets out there and, um, you know, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes. To, to make this all happen and people rush in from all over the place sorting things out um, and it's a very sort of strong energy with a very strong strong message but it's also delivered with with love and a lot of care and a lot of emotion so you know although there's a very strong important message that needs to get out there it's very much about love and um, very much about the passion that people have for our planet. So I think that's really good positive energy for Earthshot there. And then we come across to the Ripple of Hope Award, which um, I believe Harry and Meghan are up for or will be receiving. So this has been um, a little bit of a difficult decision. I think mainly on Harry's part, whether he should go or not, I even think that even at this very moment, he's probably not sure whether he's going. Um, I believe that Meghan will go. 
but um, I'm, I'm not too sure whether Harry will actually turn up. Um, there seems to be that sort of crossroads. He knows that if he does go, then that probably has burnt all his bridges with his family. So um, I think we've got a big indecision there. And this all seems very sneaky and um, very deceptive behavior all round. And usually, I mean, if the if the seven of swords was that way up, you know, you'd be sneaky and getting away with it. But I think because it's reversed, people people see through it. People know that this is just um, all a con. It's all deception and a con. They they haven't actually earned this award. It's being given to them, and I believe Sunshine Sachs, their ex publicity people, are behind this award. Um, so you know, it, it's false. And it means very little. And the Queen of Cups, well, you know, this way up, she would be the most loving, uh, the most um, giving and emotional queen. You know, she would she would help you in every way possible. It's sort of like the Diana card, I guess you could say, the Queen of Cups, uh, the Queen of Hearts. But she's the other way up. So, you know, this is just doing things for your own sake what can you get out of it what's in it for me so you know much much darker energy on this side of the table what am I getting out of this um, I only do things if they benefit me and people have seen through it and Harry I'm not sure whether he will actually go um, so let's just pull a card on that let's just see if we can get a little bit more of a decision about Harry that's interesting because we had a couple of flippers there. We got the um, we got the travel card there. I'm not going to particularly pull those because they came out a little bit too quickly. So, but but we have got the the six of swords, which is traveling, going away. I'm wondering whether he will actually, you know, be with her because it came out in reverse. So whether he will not be traveling to that. So I'm going to put that back. And then we have the conflict card, which again could very easily uh, convey conflict between Harry and Meghan, but means that he won't go. I think that could be quite um quite indicative of the situation. But we'll we just we we'll just pull we'll just pull one more, or we'll find one more to come to the top because those did jump very very quickly, and it might be that. They are the right ones. That one. Let's take that one. Yeah. I think Harry doesn't know. I think he doesn't know. He's he's just very much in limbo at the moment. Should I go or should I stay? He's taken a step back and um, he's trying to look at the situation and trying to work things out. I think probably at this moment in time, the energy that I'm getting with him is, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to go. And it's a very big decision for him, whether he will or not. So um, I might return to this a little bit closer to the date and see how the energy has changed. But I think as far as Catherine and William are concerned, Prince and Princess of Wales, their earth shot um, is going to be a great success. I will pull a card and just see what comes out as the outcome for Catherine and William. Our earth shot, be that you know, people's reaction, reaction what um, what comes out of this there we are there we are it flipped over the world how lovely yes um a lovely end to a cycle here they, they've worked hard for this and the event is going to be a great success it, it's everything that they wanted it to be and everything and more and that's it for another year and it's the end of a cycle, beautifully completed. Um, they achieve all their aims with this. And I think that it's going to be a huge public success. And really, you can't get a better outcome than the world for the Earthshot event. This one, very much in limbo. Um, I'm pretty sure that Megan will go because of her duplicity and uh, the fact that she has that kind of attitude that, um, you know, what's in it for me, if I can get a prize or if I can get something shiny, then I'll definitely be there. But Harry, I'm not so sure. So 
that is my reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I shall return very shortly with another one on this subject, a little bit closer to the date. And um, before that, I shall be doing readings on all kinds of things. So I hope that you join me. Thank you. Bye bye.